Hey, hello, Gamer Gnome is back. And in this video, we're going to help Best Gnome with the Angel Race become the strongest Angel Race user in Blast Fruits. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. 5% of the earnings will go to this channel, and this will really help us improve our videos. Where the echoes slam. Oh, there it is. Passing forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, guys, so are you ready? So I decided to start at level 700 and awaken the race V4. Guys, it's really fast. Just a recap because I already made a video of this, right? So at 8.50, we're going to do the Bartilio quest, okay? So after that, we can now head to the green zone. And in the green zone, you need to find the alchemist. He will ask you to look for three flowers, right? The red one, uh, the yellow one, and the blue one. So guys, I know most of you know how to get those things. After that, at level 1,000, we're going to do the arrow quest. You need to defeat one Angel Race user. Next, you need to reach level 1,500 and head to the third C. Okay. So, Gamer, why is it so fast? Because, guys, we're going to focus on grinding, right? Okay, next stop, third C. You need to defeat Indra, the Bottle of Gods. There you go. Okay, so after that, you need to defeat the Doe King. You need help on this one. Moving on, you need to find the Mirage Island. Find the gear. Okay, so after that, you can now pull the lever. And after that, do the trials. There you go. Defeat your friends and awaken your race. Guys, just a reminder, make sure to max out your race because this will really help you or make things easier when grinding. Now you will see how powerful the Angel Race V4 is. There you go. So first off, our target is the Pirate Millionaires. Guys, as you can see, this is a maxed out uh, Angel Race V4. There you go. Guys, check that out. Your enemies are bowing down to you. We've awakened the king. Okay, so grinding here will be easy. As you can see, if you are fighting a normal NPC, not a boss, they cannot hit you. As long as they're within the range of your awakened skill. There you go, guys. Go bow down to the king. <laughs> Again, if you notice, we are not using any blocks fruit. We're gonna use sword and maybe some gun, okay? Okay, there you go. Anyways, guys, I decided to grind here until I reached level 1675. We're gonna skip the boss here and the pistol billionaires. Regarding stats, guys, did you know if you're in your awakened state, all your stats are maxed? I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. As you can see, melee, defense, sword, gun, blast fruits, all maxed. So, guys, next up, Hydra Island. Target here is the Island Empress. Hmm. Guys, you can do wall strike here if you really want. But I suggest fight her face to face, right? So I suggest use wall strat to regenerate your awakening meter. There you go. And once you transform, go face to face with the island empress. But guys, not like the normal mob, this boss can attack you. Check this out. There you go. So you need to take care of yourself or be more cautious <laughs> because this boss will really off you, okay? <laughs> there you go. Don't be careless. But you can defeat her face to face. There you go. So again, as you can see, we're using Spiky Trident. We're gonna try using the skills, the Flying Trident Pool, and the Doe Hurricane. Guys, don't forget your skill, the Heavenly Blood. Heal yourself. Okay, at 1,725, next stop, the Great Tree. Target here is one of the most annoying mobs, the Marine Rear Admiral, but with the help of the Awakened Angel Race skill, everything will be a lot easier. When you're awakened, okay? <laughs> Gamer now, what if we're not awakened? Guys, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just Let's just reset this part, okay? There you go. Okay, now you can defeat him one at a time. I suggest one at a time. Why? Because if you lure, uh, you will be wasting your awakened meter. But if you defeat one at a time, you will be recharging it. Because again, you are at max tier, okay? I hope everything is clear. Gamer Nom, how about Kilo Admiral? Guys, we're gonna skip that boss because it's kinda tanky and hard to defeat. Because again, we're using sword. So there's a high chance that we will get damage. So we're just gonna stay here, okay? I think this is really rare that we don't defeat the Kilo Admiral, right? <laughs> Anyways, at 1,800, we're gonna leave this area. You can fly if you want. There you go. Anyways, target island is the Floating Turtle. The mob that we're gonna defeat, the Fishman Captain, again. Very easy to defeat these mobs as long as you're awakened or in your awakened state or form. There you go. Anyways, as you can see, we are going to use a new sword, the saber, and the cannon. 
Yes, you can use your cannon. Oh, I mean bazooka. As you can see, again, in your awakened state, your stats are max. So you don't need to put stats on your cannon or gun. Focus on your HP. There you go. 1825. Next mob. Hmm, the Forest Pirate. Okay, Forest Pirate. Why? Because again, very easy to defeat with your state. For those who will be asking, Gamer Gnome, how about the other mobs? Guys, we're gonna skip them because even if they give out more experience compared to the Forest Pirates, they're far apart and the quest giver is really far which makes grinding really slow, okay? So again, consider those things when grinding. So guys, we're gonna grind here until we reach level 1975, okay? After that, moving on to the Haunted Castle. Not the full moon. <laughs> there you go, Haunted Castle. Target here is the Reborn Skeleton. So it's really hard to grind these mobs if you're not in your awakened form. There you go. Bow down to the king. I really love saying that while grinding. Use cannon, use sword, and that's it. Target level here is 2075. Guys, we're almost there. Final Islands. Islands because Sea of Treats. First up is the Peanut Land. Target here, obviously, is the Peanut Scouts. The best mob to farm here in the Sea of Treats. Again, for the same reason with the Forest Pirates, they're near and they're easy to beat. Unless, guys, you reach level 2200. Why? Because the level that these mobs give out is really low, okay? So now you need to go to the next island. There is this mob similar to the Peanut Scouts. And they are called the peanut, oh no, cookie crafters, sorry. Cookie crafters, there you go. This mob, so you're gonna grind here 100 levels too. Again, the reason, same, near the quest giver, easy to defeat. 2300, next up, Coco Warriors. Again, any mob here will do. You can reach, actually you can reach max level here. But, just for the purpose of showing you the final island, it is also part of the Sea of Treats at 2400. The previous North Pole, there you go. Let's try the trident. <laughs> Let's do it. There you go. As long as you're awakened form, these mobs cannot damage you. Again, why? Because they don't have long range attacks when you try to lure them. Let's try the trident skills. I think the water pulse can only uh, damage multiple enemies. The trident crow is a single target skill. Let's try the cannon or bazooka. Sorry. There you go. Alpha wave. So guys, I think that's it. We're gonna reach max level here. So what do you think? Should we reach max level using other races? Comment it in the comment section. If this one reaches 100k views, then we're gonna do it, okay? So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!